We start off the week with a brand new gold game film and Frank Holmes, he's up next. Frank, we have so much to talk about with you today, so good to have you back. Good to be here. Now let's start by looking at what's happening in the gold market. Since last week, Frank, we've seen lots of volatility here. Now I know offline you're telling me, look, it's really normal to see gold be sloppy in the months of May and June. So are you not surprised by, by looking at historical charts that gold is just repeating in a very normal pattern right now, Frank? I think so. I think it has a 35-year historical significance of patterns. If you looked at the seasonal pattern, it's been always sloppy May, June, and quite often you get a bottom, and it could be late June or late July in that period before the seasonal love trade starts taking place. Frank, we also saw the conclusion of one of India's largest bullion buying festivals end over the weekend. Now, many were saying, look, it didn't really do much to help gold prices. But is it too soon to tell if it was able to bolster demand, Frank? I have no numbers, uh, except for I know it'll always be meaningful, except for premiums. Premiums for gold for the Akya Tritium Festival uh, are high. And that just means that there's a shortage of getting that physical gold fluidly moving through the market. But I remain bullish uh, on the cultural affinity for gold for India. It's not going away. Frank, let's get to our OT segment now. Opportunities and threats in the gold market. Let's start with opportunities. Now, last week we had a lot of economic data come out. We had jobs numbers out on Friday, which were much better than anticipated. This week we have Yellen set to speak on Wednesday. We also have an ECB interest rate decision uh, slated for Thursday. So could any of this data coming out be positive for gold? Well, last week we commented on looking for what would ISM, which is the equivalent of PMI, Purchasing Manufacturers Index, and they have a different acronyms in America, uh, and the global PMI remains positive, which is very key for overall economic activity. And the ISM numbers that came out today were very positive. They remain that there's a strong uptrend. The unemployment numbers last week look robust. However, interest rates w went lower. So why is that? Uh, I think that um, one has to really dig down on the data and, and still a lot of cross currents. For your readers, there's tremendous cross currents right now, and it's just to be cautious uh, during this sort of uh, short term cross current period. Frank, let's talk about another potential opportunity for the gold market coming into effect July 1st in the U.S., the Foreign Account Tax Compliance Act, which will affect U U.S. citizens that have a foreign accounts. Uh, what's the opportunity here, Frank? Well, FATCA is, is a massive amount of bureaucracy that was originally positioned as fat cats, going after fat cats that have accounts that are not disclosed in the U.S. So the Federal Reserve has passed these laws that are now coming into law in, in July, and there's lots of concern that it'll be very disruptive, uh, particularly to Americans who are working abroad, etc. And many of the European banks and banks like HSBC and Today in the Wall Street Journal, Deutsche Bank said that they're asking Americans to, close, Americans to shut down their accounts. Uh, they cannot deal with the risks and the bureaucracy and the costs. So rather than do with that, they're just stopping you from flying or moving your money around. So this thought process is bullish for gold long term. Frank, can you expand on why it would be bullish for gold? Well, because gold is something that's always has as, as money and gold is, is be able to uh, have as portable as portable. And I think that that's why it's important for investors to recognize this fear of any type of government trying to slow down and move it up gold. Gold will trade at a premium like we're seeing in India. Gold actually becomes more scarce. Another opportunity, Frank, has to do with the mining sector. We have Rangold Resources, already one of the largest gold miners in the world. Now i Kenya, Mark Bristow. The boss behind the company uh, starting a study of Kenya's gold mining potential. Apparently it has some uh, really well-known gold deposits. What could this mean for the mining industry? Well, Mark Bristow is a brilliant operator. Not only is he a PhD in, in geology and understands uh, the landscape and the politics of Africa, uh, he is a very, very savvy investor himself as how he looks at these countries and I think it's great thought leadership if anyone's going to be able to do it it's going to be uh, Mark Bristow. Finally Frank right on the mining side is the news in regards to Barrick the announcement of a 90 percent plunge in Barrick's profits from last year as well as the fact as their retiring chairman Peter Monk says that he still plans to remain very much involved in the company this uh, this news wasn't really taken so well right Frank? Yeah, and that's why they did a big equity funding, and that's why there's been a shakeup at the board. 
you know, I think that uh, those companies are going through change, uh, and the idea of Newmont and uh, uh, Barrick merging, I, I think, to save a billion dollars a year, I think this is going to happen. So the easiest and cleanest way I've recommended so many times is you buy the Franco Nevadas, uh, the Royal Golds, the Silver Wheatons, these royalty companies, they're just safer bets. So, Frank, before I let you go, touchdown pass of the week. If you have to choose one thing that you're really eyeing for the gold market this week, what would it be? China. Watch China. Watch its economic engines. Is it positive? Is the one month above the three months for their key factors? Frank, that's all the time we have left for today. Thank you so much for joining us. We look forward to seeing you next week where we'll be able to do the show with you in person in New York while we cover the Metals and Minerals Conference. Excellent. I will see you in New York next week. Fantastic, Frank. Thanks so much, and thanks for watching this edition of Gold Game Film. You can email us at newsfeedback at kitco.com. Happy week.